the Cinema Shogun here and the 2022 Winter Beijing Olympics are a complete and utter disaster. And I gotta admit folks, I saw this coming from a mile away, especially when Nancy Pelosi came on the news right before the opening ceremony and gave this dark and grim message. Let's take a look. I would say to our athletes, you're there to compete do not risk incurring the anger of the Chinese government because they are ruthless. I know there is a temptation on the part of some to speak out while they are there. I respect that, but I also worry about what the Chinese government might do to their reputations, to their families. I would oh, sorry, folks. Every time I see Nancy, I get transfixed by her eyebrows. They kind of look like a Disney villain, it's like a cartoon or something. I don't know how she does it, but I mean, kudos to her, I guess. But I find it funny that she's telling the athletes to basically shut up and compete. This is the equivalent of when that sportscaster told LeBron James to shut up and dribble. She's telling them, this is not your platform to use for social justice activism, you're there to compete, which is funny because that's not the same narrative that they spend literally any other time. The Olympics, especially the last Olympics, was more so used for a platform for social justice activism. We had people disrespecting the flag, taking the flag off, not wanting to be represented by the American flag. There was all types of narratives thrown around in the last Olympics to the point that people didn't even wanna watch it anymore. And every single American sport has been affected by this. That's why the ratings are going down. But I just find it funny that she's wanting them not to say anything when they're in China, yet she encourages it when they're in America or where they're somewhere else. But it just goes to show how these people are. They bend the knee to China. It's just like the corporations. A lot of these big corporations, Nike, Disney, you name it, they're so for supposedly all of these progressive social justice movements, yet, when it comes to marketing their project, their products in China, they don't market them the same way they do here. Like here, they'll slap on some social justice logo or slogan onto their products and sell it to you. Over there, they remove black people from their marketing. Literally, one of the main stars of the Star Wars franchise, <laughs> John Boyega, he had his character taken off of the Star Wars poster in China. So it goes to show that these companies aren't as woke as you think. These companies aren't about social justice. These companies are about making money. And if it thinks, if they think that spinning these social justice narratives are more lucrative for them in America, they'll do it. Yet they won't do it in places like China. Same thing goes for the Olympics. Yeah, sure, use the Olympics as a platform to talk about all types of stuff instead of sports when we're over here. But once you go over to China, you better be quiet. You know, I just I just really didn't like this statement because it wasn't it wasn't encouraging for one. It's total like it's just it's a total double standard there for two. And for three, it's like in no way, shape, or form was was it encouraging to them to let them know they're safe? You know what I mean? That statement didn't make me feel like our athletes are safe over there. And come to find out they're not because some of them are being yanked out of their rooms at three o'clock in the morning and thrown into quarantine hotels and they're being towed off to quarantine facilities. And it's not just happening to American athletes. In fact, there's athletes from all around the world who are speaking out about it. Let's take a listen to this woman. Hey everybody. Um, some of you have read the good news that I was uh, sent out of the isolation facility. We thought this meant I was allowed to return to the Olympic Village and will be treated maximum as a close contact. Um, on the way to the village, uh, we did not turn to the village, but the ambulance went to another facility where I am now. <laughs> um, I am supposed 
my NOC got surprised by this decision as well. I'm supposed to stay here for um, another seven days with two PCRs a day and no contact with anybody else. I am allowed to slide alone. I am, we are not even sure I will ever be allowed to return to the village. And obviously this is very hard for me. So I ask you all to give me some time to consider my next steps because I'm not sure I can handle 14 more days and the Olympic competition while being in this isolation. Thank you. You know, it's sad. That is absolutely sad that we can't send athletes over here to compete and feel comfortable that they're going to be okay. Because I know when Chinese athletes are in America, they're made to feel like they're okay. They're made to feel safe. I would assume a lot safer than I'm sure these people feel over here. But in many ways, I almost don't feel that bad because I know that a lot of these athletes They've been supporting like almost communist like movements. Yet when they're in the face of real communism, they break down and they cry and they can't handle it. A lot of the people in our country and in these various countries around the wor world, they're supporting things that are sending our countries, our various countries, in the same direction as China. Let's just put it like that. There's plenty of people that are supporting certain narratives, they're supporting certain things in life that are pushing us towards being more like China. Yet when they get over to China, they can't handle it. America was so bad when you were competing in America and you were competing in other countries where the living conditions were better. America was so bad, you were ready to rip off the flag on the podium. But now you're here with real communists in a real communist country and you can't handle it. Yet you support communism every step of the way when you're in America, but when faced with real communism, you can't handle it. Now, I'm not saying that's the case with this woman. I'm just saying that's the case with a lot of our athletes, especially in America. A lot of them want to be social justice warriors. They want to support movements that, is, that are leading our country into communism for the most part. And then when they get over there and see what it's really like, they realize that America isn't that bad after all. Yes, America has problems. Everywhere in the world has problems, but America remains the freest place to live. One of the best places to live in the world. And hopefully this can be used as a, as a moment that they can learn from, and maybe they will grow to appreciate what we have here more after they see the living conditions there. And of course, people from all around the world are complaining about the food. One woman in Russia says she's been fed the same meal three times a day for four or five days now and she is growing emaciated and her ribs are showing the people in these quarantine camps they don't know when they're getting out they're stuffed in small rooms where they don't have enough room to exercise no it's not like the rooms that you'll see on tv because the ccp china is not letting out they're not letting out the real information but these people are having no human contact they're having robots or humans in hazmat suits deliver these little meals that they downright can't eat. And like I said, some of them are losing weight drastically. They're getting depressed. People are crying. People are having emotional breakdowns every step of the way. And then when I turned on the TV to actually watch an event, they're skiing down a slope with freaking nuclear reactors in the background. <laughs> this looks like something off the Simpsons. There is a literal ski slope right next to a nuclear reactor. It looks like nuclear stacks directly next to them. What the hell is this? What the hell is going on? Now I know there's gonna be some smart ass out there like, oh, this isn't technically a nuclear reactor. Technically it's for coal. I don't give a what this is for. Does this look right to you? Do you think that our athletes should be skiing down a fake ski slope that's next to something that looks like this? And then they have the nerve to put the Olympic symbol on it. Like this is okay. Hey, let's put an Olympic symbol on a nuclear reactor and then have people ski off of it. What the hell? 
What the hell? There is no reason why this Olympics should have happened. We should not have sent our athletes over there in harm's way. China is 10 times crazier when it comes to this beer bug than everywhere else. I don't feel like our athletes are safe over there. They've already complained about the food, and not only are they complaining about the food, they're saying that not everyone's getting the same treatment. Not every country is getting these meals. Some countries are eating better than others. And the people who are put in quarantine, supposedly there's different levels to it. Some people are put in a nicer quarantine hotel. It's not nice, but it's a little bit nicer than some people who, like this woman said, they're carting them straight in the ambulance, straight past the normal quarantine hotel, and they're putting them in a whole nother facility. And I'd be damned if I would ever want to be there. And I don't want none of our athletes to be there. And even though I make jokes like, yeah, this is good. Maybe some of these social justice activists can really see how communism is. I don't even wish this upon them. I don't. I really wish that we didn't even compete in this Olympics. And if America was really about being as progressive and woke and all this other bullshit that they say, then we wouldn't even be here in a country that literally has concentration camps and practices modern day slavery. But you won't see any of these athletes stepping up on that podium and saying anything about that because guess what? A lot of them have shoe deals. And guess who these shoe companies bow down to? They bow down to China because Nike sells a lot of shoes to China. So if you got a Nike contract, you can't talk ish about China, but you can say whatever you want about America and you will not lose your sponsorships. But if you speak out against China, it's a wrap for you. But hey, it is what it is. I mean, some of these people should have known better. I pray for them. I hope they're okay. I'm not going to watch the Olympics. Nobody is watching the Olympics anymore. The ratings are down 43%. They have lost almost half their viewers since the last Olympics. Because much like Nancy Pelosi said, the athletes are there to compete. People tune in to see these athletes compete. They tune in to see athletes who take pride in their country compete against other athletes who have pride in their country to see which country has the best athletes. They don't tune into the Olympics to see people ripping the American flag off of them during the gold medal ceremony while talking trash about America in front of all these other countries who probably already hate America anyway. That's not what people tune in for. And that's why the Olympic ratings are down 43%. But will you be watching the Olympics? I would like to know. Let me know down in the comments below. In fact, what is your favorite winter Olympic sport? I've always liked the Winter Olympics, I think, more than the Summer Olympics. I'm not sure. What is that when they slide on the ice? You know what I'm talking about? Is it curling or something? I really like that, but I really like luge as well. So, I mean, I've always been a fan of the Olympics, and I've always tuned in every year of my, or every couple of years of my life. And this is the first Olympics that I probably will not be watching at all. But I want to know your thoughts about all of this down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, go to the description of this video, go subscribe to my other YouTube channel, go follow me on Twitter. You can go follow me on Instagram. If you would like to support the channel, my cash up is below. I would always greatly appreciate it. And you can become a channel member. But as always, find some time out of your day to go watch a movie or... Go watch the Olympics. They really need some viewers.